that would have been a losing trade. But thankfully, thankfully, I won this trade. <laughs> I pat myself in the back. <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and play this out and show you the scariness of this trade. Hey, what's up traders? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another trading session. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Warren and in this channel, I show you guys how I trade binary options and how you can trade binary options slowly and safely so that you don't lose your entire investment. But before I show you today's strategy, you can support this channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Also, please do me a favor and don't skip the video. Watch the whole video from beginning to end. That way you don't miss a thing. It's just a lot of valuable stuff that I put in this video and I would hate it for you guys to uh, miss any of them golden nuggets by the way uh, before i move forward if you hear like a background noise uh, that's just my ac going it's kind of warm in here so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys now that's out of the way let's go ahead and show you guys today's strategy let's go okay so as you can see here we got our indicator set up right uh what we're going to be using today is bollinger bands so the settings for bollinger bands are 20 period and deviation is two and then we're also using fractal. This fractal usually starts with a two here. That's the default setting. So we're just going to do three. And in styles, I changed the up color to red and the down color to green. Uh, it's, I think this is green and red, right? It's split. It doesn't matter. You can do any colors you want. That's just for my mental state. And Bollinger Bands, I didn't change the colors, but you can change that if you want. Of course, we are going to use our favorite stochastic oscillator, such a popular indicator. We're going to leave the settings default, but make sure it says 14, 3, and 3, and it's SMA, and then styles. Uh, I just left all the colors the same. You can change it if you want to, but make sure the overbought is 80 and the oversold is 20. Save. And then we want to make sure we are in candles and 15 second candles. By the way, to find these indicators, if you're new, this is the button right here for that. And you can see we have the Bollinger Bands, Stochastic, and Fractal, where are you? Right there. And that's it. Those are all the indicators we're using. Expiration time will be 30 seconds. Now, I uh, just wanna let you guys know, uh, 30 seconds, anything lower than one minute for an expiration time is very risky. You have to be quick with your analysis. You have to be quick with your entries. And that's why it's definitely not for everybody. It's definitely, especially definitely not for, for, for beginners, you know, unless you guys don't wanna, you know, take that risk. But I highly, highly, highly recommend you use the demo account first for any strategies that I show you in this channel uh, before trying them. And don't go straight to your real account because trust me from experience, my experience is um, I've lost so much money just going straight into it because I'm like, you know, well, what I'm going to be using it anyway, you know, I'm going to mentally it's different when you're using a demo account. I get it. So but that's that's why I, I started off with a real account. But trust me, I've lost so much money doing it that way. It's better if you're comfortable and practicing on a demo, especially if you're starting something new. So yeah so i just want you to know uh, just be safe now how this strategy works is really simple so you are definitely going to use a lot of technical analysis in this strategy that's kind of like the, the caveat the, the maybe i guess downside if you're uh, just sticking to indicators which again i don't recommend you do just you know you gotta learn technical analysis but for this to be really effective you have to use technical analysis and use the indicators as just a guide as always so how it works so you see here the the trend is going up so one may say oh eventually it's going to go down well you can be right based on the stochastic here 
it's going down and you got the cross here so typically you want to wait until it crosses in the overbought if you're trying to do a put trade and the fractal really i wouldn't wait for the fractals to print only because this is a super late indicator by the time this red fractal here uh, would print for a put position you would have you the candles would have already been going down so this is why i don't recommend you waiting for the fractals just as a guide to see which way the trend is going to go and the bollinger bands can be used as another resistance and support area right here or right here it's even better see so you can use that as a guide as well but it's so much better if you actually draw your own support and resistance zones like so all right and then support zone right here you can see whoop, backwards support zone support zone resistance resistance support support oops resistance really hard to draw with that mouse <laughs> resistance so that would have been a winning trade right here 15 or 30 seconds with 15 second candlesticks so you want uh, two candles to go your way and you could be a little bit safer i guess to do three candles so 45 second expiration but we want to be quick and usually usually if you double the rule of thumb is if you double your candlestick time so in this case we're using 15 seconds if you double that 30 seconds for expiration you should be safe already you know usually but again it's really anything can happen you can do everything right with this market uh with binary options and it will go your the other way it won't go your way so you just shake it off take it as a loss and move forward so yeah if you want to if you want to do a, a composition you wait until it either hits the bottom of the bollinger band and like i said you want to cross in the oversold position for the stochastic don't mind the fractal because that won't print yet and enter your trade the fractal will print like probably like on your last candle and that's okay as long as you know you did everything right then you should win that trade and the same goes for the the put trades if you want to do a put trade you want to wait until it hits the the resistance zone of the bollinger bands you got your cross of the stochastic going down from the overbought position and then you do a 30 second put trade and this will print this fractal will print probably after your last candle or even after the closing of the first candle so it's usually like three candles in two or three candles in depending on the candle time frame it's when the fractals print but like i said that's just for a guide right so if i show you here scroll back see so if you want to do a put position here you see there's like all these red candles and then if you want to do like a call position you got all these green candles so it's just just a guide as i said but this strategy works best in a ranging market even though you want somewhat of a trending market you don't want like uh, a long trending market where you don't know when the price is gonna uh, pull back or retrace you know you just want it to have a nice up and down right so up and down market and take your time as always don't rush your trades don't rush the analysis even though and especially even though this is you know it's kind of contradicting like you want to be quick because it's a 30 second expiration and only 15 second candles but at the same time take your time man take your time looking for the right chart the best signal you can the most comfortable you're at and a, a signal that a trade that you can take where even if you lost it's still gonna be okay so just take your time and you guys will profit currency pairs up here already chosen uh, otc market that's always and then i just 
place my first investment, which is $2.06. And just looking for my first trade. And here we go. So let me uh, tell you guys why I picked this trade. First of all, you can see here this area is going down. So we're expecting a put position pretty soon here. Even though this area right here is showing that's going up, and you can see that from the stochastic as well. Just judging from this area alone and with the red fractal being formed right here, right here, then that tells me, even though there's green fractals here, that still tells me this is gonna be going down. And it confirmed that with the stochastic here, you can see that the stochastics is going down here and then you got the cross going down. So 30 seconds and let's see if we got this trade. Now, even though the red fractal printed here, that is really late. We still had a good entry right here, which I'm glad we, we took, you know, when we took it here. So it was early, but that was uh, the right entry. Now we are using a compound strategy as always. So I'm putting back my profits into my next trade and I'm gonna look for another signal. Okay. Let me uh, pause this for a sec. Now, let me show you why I picked this trade. Well, as you saw earlier, I was zoomed out because this is a support area. And then looking at the stochastic here, it's been oversold for a little while already. And even though this is going down, the, the trend is going down because the oversold area has been oversold for a while and because we are in a good support zone, I knew that this would be a good opportunity to do a call position, as you can see here. And this is actually a good signal because like I said, it's been going down for a while. Eventually it will have to go up and pull back which it does here. So let me show you guys that. So you see that's the uh, stochastic here crossing. That's really good that it's crossing right here. Yep, that is. Anytime you see the stochastic look like this where the moving average is spread out like that, whether it's going up or down, uh, 90 percent sure that you're in the clear so we want that trade now we're gonna compound again put back our profit and look for another chart uh, to trade on this is our third trade you want to take your time and don't rush in any any of the trade nor force it look for a really good chart good signal and only enter when you're sure. Okay, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Same thing as the previous trade, although you will see in a bit that this is a little risky because the candles kept going up and down. So it's a pretty volatile chart, but I was still confident that my call trade here was gonna be a winner. But let me show you why I did that. As you can see here, you got the support zone and I can actually, you can extend that all the way out here. So that this is a good support zone. You know, you got all these touches right here. You get this, the right tool there, there, right there, right there. All these, you know, confirms that this would be a good call act option. And then an extra confirmation is the stochastic. It's in the oversold zone. 
and it's about to cross as well. And even though, again, uh, it's kind of going down, like right here, like I said earlier, when it goes down, it has to come up. It has to pull back eventually. So that is what is about to happen. Let me show you guys this trade. But as you can see, man, look at that. That's uh, jumping up and down. It's scary. I hate the signals when it does this. I, I don't like it. <laughs> it's so scary. Uh, up and down like that. Look at that. But I was confident and I'm glad that it went our way. Too easy. Too easy. Boom. Won that trade. All right. For our fourth trade, we're going to compound again. Put back our profits. And we're going to look for another signal. Okay. So this one, another call trade. However, this one was even worse than the previous one as far as volatility and stress. <laughs> this one definitely was like the last few seconds I was like worried oh man see this like i said earlier you know you can have like three four five straight trades in a row and then on that last trade whether it's your last one or you are moving forward that last trade could be the trade that you lose and since you are compounding your investments and and putting your profits back in you will have to start over again so psychologically it's really going to mess you up in this trade the fourth trade i almost blacked out <laughs> because this was scary man and i'll show you in a second here but before i do let me show you why i picked this uh, call trade so this one the market is going up and even though like the first couple trades it's showing this is a, a down trend i see I, I chose the call option because of the stochastic it was about to cross and then you have kind of like a trend line here going on. But again, because of how volatile this particular chart was, I it could very well go back down, you know, and that would have been a losing trade. But thankfully, thankfully, I won this trade. <laughs> I pat myself in the back. <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and play this out and show you the scariness of this trade. See, right there. Man, when I saw that, I was about to like barf, faint. Thought I was gonna lose this trade. And I thought that I might be in the clear here, but you can see, whew, that could have gone down some more and it was going down some more. So thankfully, thankfully that I was safe there. Now in this last trade, um, same thing again, stressed out, stressed out. <laughs> but uh, I was uh, somewhat sure, I would say 70% sure that I was gonna win this trade. And even though I was like, okay, this was my last trade, I wanted to be the best, the most perfect, everything, all the stars aligned, all the planets aligned, everything works out in my favor. I knew this was gonna go down or up. And that's kind of why you, how you want to prepare yourself mentally and how you want to feel when you're taking your last trade. That's why sometimes the last trade will probably be your most longest uh, as far as uh, finding uh, the right chart or analyzing the market. And, you know, even with all that, this trade uh, still freaked me out. This one, I actually was late. I wanted to take this, that, that chart I just passed on here. And, but I was too late. But had I picked that, I probably would have won that. It was, it was definitely a better signal than this one. But the reason why I chose this signal, it's pretty simple as always. It's because of the support and resistance zones. So this is kind of ranging here in this, this chart. And you got a good support zone 
or resistance zone right here, you know. See, you got all these touches, but you also had a good support zone here. So what do you do in that case? You have a ranging market, it's going up and down, you know, which by the way can be very risky, especially when you have all these candles look like this. You know, it's all these candles right here. It's crazy. You kind of don't want to, you kind of don't want to trade in a market like this. You know, got all these wicks. It's definitely uh, any, you know, 50-50 chance of winning. So it's very risky, right? But sometimes ranging markets are great for for support and resistance. So, but what uh, confirmed my entry was the stochastic. It was way above the overbought area and it's about to cross and you have all these candles going up already. And then, like I said, you have the resistance zone here. So I just knew that this was got to be a, a put position. But again, it was very uh, risky. The chart here you'll see is pretty volatile. And like I said earlier, you want your last trade to be like your best trade. You're, you're most analyzed. You are like 200% sure that this is going to go in your favor. But last few seconds, man, I was like, what? I was going to like go nuts because this is crazy how you know, thankfully this candle right here saved me right here. But even that, you know, because of all the wicks, that could very well shut back up, you know. So thankfully, thankfully I got that trade. So there, there you go. Fifty dollars. Well, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that 30 second strategy. If you did, smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And ring that notification bell so you'll be notified for more videos just like this. And as always, guys, be safe, take it easy, take it slow, and you will profit with binary options. So until the next video, see you then. Bye-bye.